In this video, we will look at the optimal storage on tapes problem. This problem is solved using greedy method. In the optimal storage on tapes problem, we have n programs to be stored on the tape of length L. Each of these programs have length associated with them. The length of each program or object is represented by L. So, let us consider L1 as the length of the program 1, L2 as the length of program 2, and L3 as the length of program 3. Now, it is clear that all the programs can be stored on the tape if and only if the sum of the length of the programs is less than or equal to the length of the tape. Let us consider an example. Let us consider we have three programs. So, n is 3. The length L1 of program 1 is 5. The length L2 of program 2 is 10. And the length L3 of program 3 is 3. The problem is how to optimize the retrieval of these programs that are stored on the tape. Whenever a program is retrieved from the tape, it is assumed that the tape is initially positioned at the front. So, we need to find a permutation for the programs such that when they are stored on the tape, the mean retrieval time is minimized. These type of problems fits in the category of ordering paradigm. If program 1 is stored first, then program 2 is stored, and then program 3 is stored, then we can say that the ordering i of the programs is 1, 2, and 3. Now, the time taken to retrieve a program is proportional to sum of the lengths of the programs based on their ordering, which is represented by d of i, where i is the ordering. So, when we have the program 1 stored first in the order, then the retrieval time di for program 1 is 5, since it is proportional to the length of the program. Then we have program 2 stored next in the order. And we assume that whenever a program is retrieved from the tape, the tape is initially positioned at the front. So the retrieval time di for program 2 is the sum of the retrieval time of program 1, which is 5, plus the sum of the retrieval time of program 2, which is 10. Then we have program 3 stored next in the order. We assume that whenever a program is retrieved from the tape, the tape is initially positioned at the front. So, the retrieval time di for program 3 is the sum of the retrieval time of program 1, which is 5, plus the sum of the retrieval time of program 2, which is 10, plus the sum of the retrieval time of program 3, which is 3. Now, the mean retrieval time for retrieving programs stored in the order program 1, program 2, and program 3 is the sum of di for program 1, which is 5, plus di for program 2, which is 5 plus 10, plus di for program 3, which is 5 plus 10 plus 3. So, the mean retrieval time for programs stored in the order of program 1, program 2, and program 3 is 38. Now, let us look at a different permutation of storing the programs on the tape. Let us consider the ordering as storing program 1, then storing program 3, and then storing program 2 on the tape. So, when we have the program 1 stored first in the order, then the retrieval time di for program 1 is 5, since it is proportional to the length of the program. Then, we have program 3 stored next in the order. And we assume that whenever a program is retrieved from the tape, the tape is initially positioned at the front. So the retrieval time di for program 3 is the sum of retrieval time of program 1, which is 5, plus the sum of retrieval time of program 3, which is 3. Then we have program 2 stored next in the order. Again, we assume that whenever a program is retrieved from the tape, the tape is initially positioned at front. So, the retrieval time di for program 2 is the sum of retrieval time for program 1, which is 5, plus the retrieval time for program 3, which is 3, plus the retrieval time for program 2, which is 10. 
Now, the mean retrieval time for retrieving programs stored in the order program 1, program 3 and program 2 is the sum of di for program 1 which is 5 plus di for program 3 which is 5 plus 3 plus di for program 2 which is 5 plus 3 plus 10. So, the mean retrieval time for programs stored in the order of program 1, then program 3 and then program 2 is 31. Now let us look at a different permutation of storing the programs on the tape. Let us consider the ordering of storing program 2, then storing program 1 and then storing program 3 on the tape. So when we have program 2 stored first in the order, then retrieval time di for program 2 is 10 since it is proportional to the length of the program. Then we have program 1 stored next in the order. So the retrieval time di for program 1 is the sum of retrieval time of program 2 which is 10 plus the retrieval time for program 1 which is 5. Then we have program 3 stored next in the order. So the retrieval time di for program 3 is the sum of the retrieval time for program 2 which is 10 plus the retrieval time of program 1 which is 5 plus the retrieval time of program 3 which is 3. Now the mean retrieval time for retrieving programs stored in the order program 2 then program 1 and then program 3 is the sum of di for program 2 which is 10 plus di for program 1 which is 10 plus 5 plus di for program 3 which is 10 plus 5 plus 3. So the mean retrieval time for programs stored in the order of program 2 then program 1 and program 3 is 43. Now let us look at a different permutation of storing the programs on the tape. Let us consider the ordering of storing program 2 then storing program 3 then storing program 1 on the tape. So when we have program 2 stored first in the order then the retrieval time di for program 2 is 10 since it is proportional to the length of the program. Then we have program 3 stored next in the order. So the retrieval time di for program 3 is the sum of the retrieval time of program 2 which is 10 plus the retrieval time of program 3 which is 3. Then we have program 1 stored next in the order. So the retrieval time di for program 1 is the sum of retrieval time for program 2 which is 10 plus the retrieval time for program 3 which is 3 plus the retrieval time for program 1 which is 5. Now the mean retrieval time for retrieving programs stored in the order program 2, program 3 and then program 1 is the sum of di for program 2 which is 10 plus the di for program 3 which is 10 plus 3 plus di for program 1 which is 10 plus 3 plus 5. So the mean retrieval time for program stored in the order of program 2, then program 3 and then program 1 is 41. Now let us look at a different permutation of storing the programs on the tape. Let us consider the ordering of storing program 3, then storing program 1, then storing program 2 on the tape. So when we have the program 3 stored first in the order, then the retrieval time di for program 3 is 3 since it is proportional to the length of the program. Then we have program 1 stored next in the order. So the retrieval time di for program 1 is the sum of retrieval time for program 3 which is 3 plus the retrieval time of program 1 which is 5. Then we have program 2 stored next in the order. So the retrieval time di for program 2 is the sum of retrieval time for program 3 which is 3 plus the retrieval time for program 1 which is 5 plus the retrieval time for program 2 which is 10. Now the mean retrieval time for retrieving programs stored in the order program 3 then program 1 and then program 2 is the sum of di for program 3 which is 3 plus di for program 1 which is 3 plus 5 plus di for program 2 which is 3 plus 5 plus 10. 
So the mean retrieval time for program stored in the order of program 3, program 1 and program 2 is 29. Now let us look at a different permutation of storing the programs on the tape. Let us consider the ordering of storing program 3, then storing program 2 and then storing program 1 on the tape. So when we have the program 3 stored first in the order, then the retrieval time di for program 3 is 3 since it is proportional to the length of the program. Then we have program 2 stored next in the order. So the retrieval time di for program 2 is the sum of retrieval time for program 3 which is 3 plus the retrieval time of program 2 which is 10. Then we have program 1 stored next in the order. So the retrieval time di for program 1 is the sum of the retrieval time for program 3 which is 3 plus the retrieval time for program 2 which is 10 plus the retrieval time of program 3 which is 5. Now the mean retrieval time for retrieving program stored in the order program 3, program 2 and then program 1 is the sum of di for program 3 which is 3 plus di for program 2 which is 3 plus 10 plus di for program 1 which is 3 plus 10 plus 5. So, the mean retrieval time of programs stored in the order of program 3, program 2 and program 1 is 34. So, these are all the permutations of ordering of the program stored on the tape. Now, the objective is to optimize the retrieval of the programs that are stored on the tape. The greedy method to compute the ordering is to choose the next program to be stored on the tape which will minimize the increase in di. The increase in d of i is minimized if the next program chosen is the one with the least length from the remaining programs. So the programs must be stored on the tape based on their increasing length starting from the smallest then the next smallest so on to the last program. Therefore, we get the optimal solution of minimal retrieval time when program 3 is stored first that is the one with the smallest length which is 3, then program 1 that is the one with next smallest length which is 5 and then storing program 2 that is the one with the length 10 will give the summation of di as 29 that is the minimum retrieval time among all the other permutations of the ordering. So the greedy method is to store the programs on the tape based on the increasing length of the programs. Let us analyze the greedy method of optimal storage on tapes. The greedy method simply requires us to store the programs in non-decreasing or increasing order of the length of the program. This ordering can be carried out in O of n log n time using efficient sorting algorithm. So the time complexity of this approach will be O of n log n. So to summarize, the objective is to optimize the retrieval of the programs that are stored on the tape. The greedy method to compute the ordering, the programs must be stored on the tape based on their increasing length of the programs. This ordering can be carried out in O of n log n time using an efficient sorting algorithm.